Hello, today's Google Classroom is going to be about letter recognition. So we're seeing if we can find the letters in all sorts of different fonts. As you can see up in this corner at the top, there's a black and white square. Inside the square is the letter that we're going to be looking at today. And this letter today is the letter A. You'll also see in the bottom corner is a yellow flower. This is the movable piece that you're going to be moving around the screen to show what letter you can see. So on this screen, we're going to be looking for all of the A's. I'm going to take my flower over here and I'm going to click and drag it over top of any A's that I see. Now remember, these are different fonts, so not all of the A's are going to look exactly like that A. But if it is an A, I need to cover it with my flower. Now, if you're having trouble with moving the flower around the screen and you have a trackpad on your computer, I would suggest using two hands. One hand is going to click and click and hold the mouse button. And the other hand is going to move your finger across the trackpad to move the flower where you want it to go. If you have a regular mouse, you should be clicking on your left button, holding it and dragging it to where you would like it to go. Now, I think I found all the A's on my screen. I'm going to double check real quick at the other letters, and I see none of them are A's, so that screen is good to go. After I'm done with the A's, I'm going to go over to my sidebar. This, you can see if you scroll down, are all of the letters you're going to be doing today. So you can go ahead and click on number two, and that brings you to a new letter, and this is the letter B. So I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be taking my flower and I'm going to be finding the B's that I see. Now I remember that they are different fonts, so they might look a little bit different than the rest of them. Now I tried to trick you on this screen by using D's, P's, and Q's. So really be on that good lookout for the B's on this screen. And some screens might even have capital letters, but those still count. And I'm going to check the rest of my letters to make sure I got all the B's. And then I'm good to go. So I'm going to go over again to my side and I'm going to click on C. And I do the same thing where I click and drag and find all the C's on this screen. Now, if I was a student, I would get all the way down to the end. And we all know the last letter of the alphabet is Z. And I would turn it in to my teacher for Google Classroom. If you are having trouble finding where the turn in button is, you may ask a friend and they will help you out. Okay, good luck.